morning. Welcome to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 38. Had a little late start this morning. We had to run by the church um, back out on site. <clears throat> Looks like the guys were continuing to do uh, the block walls for the interior. Um, they're started in the uh, master suite, uh, also continuing in the uh, guest bedroom areas. Um, they've started to remove the forms from the concrete, uh, from the lentil beam that they poured yesterday uh, afternoon. Uh, the pieces that they had off so far look really good, uh, nice and smooth. Uh, again, they will probably go back and chip that off, uh, chip the finish a little bit so that they can uh, do the plaster and mortar work later. So let's go ahead and get started and see what they're doing. All right, so let's go take a walk around the house real quick and see what everybody's working on. Uh, we got Mr. Jericho and Alex um, working on the the master, that looks like the master closet wall. Uh, young Justin and Pablo are working on the interior of the same section. So we got the, uh, this is the interior wall for the master bath where Justin's at now, master closet here. What Jericho's working on on the far wall is the exterior wall um, around the shower section in the bath and also uh, the closet a little further that way. Okay, uh, another Alex and Mr. Marvin are pulling off the forms from the lentil beam that they poured yesterday afternoon. As I mentioned in the intro, the uh, concrete looks really good on the outside as they're pouring that off it's got a nice smooth finish and i do expect that they'll go back and uh chip it uh to where it looks like uh this right here on the beams they'll do that on the beams like what they did on the columns before um <clears throat> working around mr wilson is back and mr jojo and they're working on adding forms for additional columns. Um, if they continue with the same modus operandi that they've been working on, um, they will be pouring these uh, columns this afternoon. Okay, and then we've also got another form over here that was constructed yesterday for the dirty kitchen area. This is the area between the dirty kitchen and the breakfast nook working our way through we've got mr. Ben up on the wall between for bedroom three we got mr. June working the interior walls for bedroom two and then we've got Pablo, June, and Orlin, no, oh, sorry, Oliver, working the um, interior walls for the uh, for the maid's suite. And Mr. J is helping lug mortar wherever it needs to go. So let me get out of these guys' way. And I got one more place to check. Oh yes, of course, Mr. Orland is still bending rebar stirrups. Looks like he's working on some more smaller stirrups for the um, for the lentil beams. And Mr. Edmund behind him is helping with uh, cutting wire ties so we can use those to tire, tire everything together with later. We got Mr. Oliver on the far end. Um, way over there still working the maid suite <clears throat> Mr. Alex here with his backside to us uh, working the wall between the pantry area on this side and the garage on the other still working that area Mr. Ben has finished the bedroom number three interior wall on this side and this is Mr. Manny up here putting in the lentil beam across the top 
<coughs> Mr. Ben has moved on to start working on the exterior wall uh, for the walk-in closet uh, from bedroom number three. On the other side of the house, these guys are moving right along. We've got Mr. Jericho on the far side, building block for the exterior wall, and the master bath, and connecting it with the, uh, doing an interlock with the master's closet. And on this side, we got Mr. Sorry, Mr. Justin. We've got Mr. Justin working on the wall for between the master's hallway and the master's bath. Up in the top corner, we got Mr. Alex still working on some forms and uh, lentil beam. Mr. Winston working on a for, uh, form for the column. Um, this is between the uh, let's see what's on this area. We've got the water closet on this side and the bathtub on that side. Okay. And then on the back side here, still bending rebar. Cutting some additional rebars that they're going to be using for tie rods. Cutting wire ties. Whole crew. All right, it's after lunch. Let's go do a walk around, see where everybody's at today. Looks like we're mixing more mortar to get started. They're just doing sand and cement at this moment. It's gonna be a little loud. Still working on the, the walls in the utility room. Mr. Oliver up there doing the wall. Let's go walk on the other side of the... This is Mr. Alex and Mr. J. He's almost done. I think that's the last, uh, that's the last course on that wall. That'll get him up to lintel beam height. Sorry, it's kind of loud. This, beam, this wall is up to the right height. This is uh, coming out of bedroom number two and we're going into the hallway. You see Mr. Orley and Mr. Manny are putting the lentil beam across the top of bedroom number three, between the wall between bedroom three and the hallway. where we're moving fill to. That's Mr. Edmund moving fill material. We're still, we're starting to fill in the, the master suite. Mr. Jericho, still working the exterior wall for the master closet. Mr. Justin is back with us today and he is working the Whoa. He's working the height, uh, the height of the block wall for the master bath between the bath and the master bedroom. Looks like uh, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Mr. Wilson's putting in the additional rebar. Okay, so on this side of the master suite, uh, they're working on the lentil beam first. Um, they'll come back after the lentil beam and finish filling in the wall here. Uh, but this is uh, on the other side of Mr. Wilson here, directly in front is the toilet or the water closet area. So when they're finished, it'll look just like this one, which is right over the top of the tub.
give you a view for the top. Someone asked if the house or the lot was crooked. Easiest way to show you this is from directly above the house. So let me get over the house. And we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so centered on the house. This is on the kitchen. Oop, okay. And we're going to go up. Going up. Okay. As you can see, the house is square side to side. But when you see the front of the lot, let me get up a little higher. Okay, looking down towards the bottom of the screen. The house is square on the lot. Um, however, the front of the lot is not square on the road. If you notice the left of your view screen is lower to the bottom than the right side of the lot which is up a little higher. Um, this is because the two lots in the front are actually different sizes. Uh, the, the left lot uh, where the master suite is on uh, with the house next door uh, is actually 325 square meters. The house on the, oh, the the lot on the right where all the guest rooms are is 312 square meters. So that distance difference is all made up right there in the front of the lot. Uh, you can see the road actually does a, a small slant. Um, yeah, it is what it is. It makes it look funny. Um, from the road, it's going to look like the house isn't square, but when you look at it from the sides and the top, it is. So we'll have a little bit of extra um, yard space in the front on the side by the master suite, which is going to be nice. I think we're going to end up putting a, uh, a grotto there. So this afternoon, we're getting ready to continue the pouring on the lentil beam around the master suite that they started yesterday. Um, these guys are starting to do the bucket brigade. And they're bringing in over the concrete bucket by bucket. I'm going to set this up and see if I can't get a good time lapse on it. guys are still working concrete uh, as they came around the corner uh, they took a break getting the uh, concrete made a new batch of concrete uh, now they're working on uh, filling up this is column number this one here is column number four um, this is the second one inside of the uh, master suite 
Um, they're going to pour the lentil beam up here as well and work their way over to column number three, uh, which is actually in the middle of the bathroom. Um, at a later point, once the lentil beam has set, they will come back through and fill in the rest of the hollow block here and it should look exactly like this panel over here so it's only going to have the small window a little higher up since what's all right here is a water closet or a bath uh, a toilet all right so we're going to wrap up uh casa texpina we're on build day number 38 uh, so we're wrapping up build day 38 um, the guys today worked a lot of uh, interior walls with the five inch hollow block um, they were working in the rooms of the uh, maid's suite. So that's the maid's room, the maid's uh, restroom, and the utility room. Um, they also worked in the garage, the bedroom number two, bedroom number three. Uh, they actually started moving over to the uh, master suite and finishing the walls uh, for the exterior portion of it. Um, they're still working on some portions of that uh, around the master's closet and master's bath um, the, the engineer was there here this afternoon uh, mentioned that we should have all of the walls up to the lentil beam height uh, by the end of the week so by saturday afternoon um, all the lentil beams uh, should be poured and getting ready to go a little bit higher from there uh, next week so that's something to look forward to as we progress this week. Um, they did pour another lentil beam today uh, from the northwest corner of the master suite uh, around to the south wall um, into the master's bath area. Uh, still on the exterior wall but along the lentil beam at the top. So uh, that pretty much wrapped up for today. If you like today's video please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button or the Casa Texpina star in the bottom right hand corner. Also, if you'd like to know when our next video has been uploaded for your viewing pleasure, please hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when that happens. Until then, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.